Hey guys, Abuja in shock has deadly bandit reveals the people sponsoring them. Hmm. See what they said. That God's people talking. Welcome back to Prospect Tanet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Security personnel apprehended 42 people in Abuja, the nation's capital, who were allegedly terrorists and robbers. Eventually, these people disclosed that they had sponsors who approved of their behavior. Men from the Nigerian Army's 174 guard battalion accompanying the Federal Capital Territory FCT Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NXCDC, as it took the accused into prison. Olushola Ademosu, the commandant of the Federal Capital Territory, the National Secretary, the National Security and Criminal Control Commission, said on Wednesday, February 14, during the suspect parade that the security forces efforts to purge the EF, uh, FCT of criminal elements and crimes are bearing fruit. Speaking at the National Security and Defense and Civil Defense Command headquarters in Abuja, Odomorsu also revealed that five vigilante squad members who had collaborated with the Department of State Service DSS to deface some important national assets in federal capital territory have been arrested. Among the items, they suspect were carrying were daggers, knives, and matches, among other sharp things. The following were said by the director of the National Security Counter Terrorism Center, NACDS, CDC, please pardon me. I gave the officers and troops a fresh charge to take up our game against criminal groups under our jurisdiction via intelligence collecting. The arrest occurred on Monday, February 11, 2024, at around 6 o'clock in the morning. The perpetrators of the disturbance in Labata in the Gurara local government area of Niger State were apprehended in Tasumi village forest. Preliminary investigations, according to Odumorsu, have revealed that the people under suspicion are bandits who have escaped the ongoing military operation in Zamfara State by way of the Federal Capital Territory, the Gwagwalada Area Council, Pa Village in Kwali Area Council, and the Forest Zone in Niger State. I am happy to inform you that the charge is beginning to generate revenue as of today. Reliable sources indicate that 42 people who were disguising themselves as soldiers Mineral miners are we are suspected. We are suspected of being terrorists and robbers. We are apprehended by the Nigerian Army 176 Guard Battalion. He pointed out that the suspect identified themselves as miners, even though they could not provide any paperwork to back up their claim. They were unable to provide the name of the firm they were allegedly working for or the location of the mining site throughout the questioning. According to the inquiry conclusions, Adam Ocho said further investigations revealed that these groups of young boys had been operating inside the states of Zamfara, Kogi, and Niger State. The NSCDC command, commandant said, that the accused had admitted to having sponsors who provide the found funding for the activities during their interrogations. I believe this is where it will end. That is the truth. They have said it right and it is gone. Who are those sponsoring them? They will not even go further. 
You see, these people, they have provided, you know, information on those who are sponsoring them. Not be today Nigeria starts this matter. Those who are sponsoring terrorists, you know, in the country, those people, they are invisible. They cannot be touched by the Nigerian government. And who are these people? Now here, this matter go end. Well, it's very painful that the soldiers will suffer, you know, apprehend. I am talking about those soldiers, you know, at the feet, though. They will suffer and apprehend criminals. And by the end of the day, they are going to be released. Maybe because uh, someone called and said they have to be released. You see, the reason why the fight against criminalities in Nigeria will never end soon. Because with the way the whole thing are going, people are going to call, leave them alone. If not, these people, they are trying, kudos to Nigerian soldiers, make we tell ourselves the truth. It's not easy. We know that they have bad eggs among them. And we cannot say because of those bad eggs, we cannot still, you know, identify their hard work. These people, they are risking their lives to protect Nigeria. But at the end of the day, all their effort is nothing because the Nigerian government are making it, you know, look nothing. These people, even in the Bible and the Quran, even before traditionalists, if you do evil, it get consequences. I be yes, it has consequences which you have to face. But why is it that these people? They are above all these consequences because someone is going to call and say, let them go. Okay, tell me how this fighting, this insecurity in Nigeria will end. We are just wasting time, wasting our money, wasting lives for nothing. At this junction now, hmm, it's only God that is de will deliver this country. You understand? It's only God. At this junction now, because you cannot tell me that you know the cause of your problem. You are having headache. You know that this is headache. And when you take paracetamol, it's going to end. And you will leave paracetamol and you'll be taking drugs for leg and stomach. Who is deceiving who? I better make a drop on for you. Maybe we hit another news. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.